Hello, good morning, how are you? So today I will be sharing the day in the life um, with you and how I spend the day like. So right now this is at uh, 8.45 a.m. and I'm alone here so um, I will uh, prepare first breakfast myself and then um, go to the gym, take a shower and then come back to this room this is my own room for trading and my hobbies so I will come back and then start to check charts so I hope you will enjoy this video stay gold so after I wake up in the morning the first thing I would do is to play some music okay this music sounds very nice to start my new day so I will sit like this and usually in the morning I don't eat something heavy I just have some uh, light maybe salad a pasta salad I will prepare for myself today and some juice and yogurt this is my favorite place to eat so today I prepared a uh, yogurt this is a, a blueberry yogurt and also uh, this is a juice with uh, ginger and apple and uh, celery uh, juice and also uh, some uh, chicken and a pasta salad with some uh, leaves and some uh, cheese and olives um, so usually in the morning um, I don't eat heavy because um, if I eat too much in the morning then I feel dull after that and after I finish this I usually uh, read a book a little bit and go to the gym and uh, take a shower and then start my new day so I like cooking myself I like to cook myself and because one of my uh, dream when I was young was to become a chef so uh, I like cooking and it's so refreshing every day so um, yeah that's what I like to do in the morning time and this is my favorite spot near the window and I can um, enjoy the view and enjoy the nice breakfast at the same time so I say itadakimasu in Japanese itadakimasu means um, thanks for the meal So this morning I'm reading a book of uh, Toyota Method, Toyota Philosophy. This is in Japanese, but uh, this is one of my Bibles too. I have a lot of Bibles, by the way. And usually in the morning after I finish the breakfast, I spend time to read a book. Um, only a few sections of the book I read and I get inspiration uh, to spend the day. So today um, it says, uh, questioning your norm or question your common sense um, and my understanding is that um, most of the people do not really question when things are going towards the right direction let's say when you are making profits in trading then you may not question about your strategy but when things are going wrong then you may start to question or doubt the strategies. I think that's really common. Uh, but um, it says even if it's going towards the right direction, you have to always question if you are really going to the right direction. 
and this is a part of the improvement, what we call kaizen in Japanese. So the question actually starts from for what? For what are you doing trading? For what are you using this strategy? And then you may find some new answers. So I thought this is really inspirational. So today I will spend my day with that in mind. And then I may notice something new when I screen charts or take in trades or uh, seeing some, somebody else's comments in YouTube and my communities. So like this, I like to get inspired uh, by the book in the morning time. And then um, this is my preparation also for my day. So now I'm going to the gym and take a shower and then uh, start to check charts. So I usually don't check charts the first thing in the morning when after I wake up. I like to spend my own time like this and be, uh, be peaceful and content in my mind and then start my day. I need some inspirations, I need some um, this kind of uh, like, a, like a new ideas, the triggers of the new ideas to start my day. And after I wake up in the morning from bed and eat breakfast and then gym, I never touch phones. Well, this video is recorded by the phone, so technically I'm using it right now, but um, I don't really open anything. I don't open email or uh, messages or even I don't even pay attention to charts until I really schedule myself to check chart, which is after the gym. Because in this way, I can really focus on what I have to focus. If I um, lose my focus on what to focus, then the quality of my day gets lower, I feel, and I don't like that. So every time I do something, I want to really focus and get the most out of that experience, including breakfast and reading the book. So I have my specific schedule on exactly what timings I do on what things. After working out, I came here to uh, take a shower. Here's the shower room. So in the morning, I usually take a shower here. And uh, 
Usually I take a cold water, uh, warm but a bit colder, colder water so that I refresh myself. Oof, it was so refreshing. Okay, so that was so refreshing and I just came back home now. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go out to the terrace because there was a window cleaning above the pool and that area was fully covered. But usually after workout, I go out and um, lie down on the bench and um, just take sunshine. Uh, this produced, uh, you know, um, vitamin D and uh, calcium. But today I wasn't able to, so I'm taking the vitamin D supplement and calcium and magnesium after I came back home. Oh, and the reason why I take the cold shower is uh, because it helps in many reasons, in many areas. Um, uh, there was a study in University of Amsterdam that uh, they took uh, more than 3,000 participants and one of the four groups, they asked them to take cold shower every day, every morning. And it proved that uh, it helped to uh, improve their immune system so it helps to reduce uh, catching a cold. And also cold shower stimulates the um, sympathetic uh, nervous system and it helps produce noradrenaline so that helps to pump up the heartbeat and also um, uh, create the focus and the creativity. So, um, and what's more, um, another study shows that uh, cold water helps to increase uh, the metabolism, like a 350% metabolism. So it also helps to burn fat, body fat. So cold water helps in many ways. And that's why usually when I go after I work out in the morning, I take a cold shower and then I, my mind becomes sharp and then start to uh, work on some um, maybe chartings, uh, screening charts or some other activities. But before that, I have to do one more thing, which is meditation. Okay, finish. Looks like the markets are now all retracing. Um, I was watching JPY pairs because they were bullish according to Ichimoku and also my analysis. But when I see M5, it's just going down retracing. So uh, right now may not be the best timing to trade. So I have these three screens. In the one in the middle, I use it for trading on the right. I use it for live stream. I usually check comments and launch the live stream software. And the one on the left, I use this one for uh, email and also uh, you know community Discord uh, messages. So I have three screens, but for trading, I only use the one in the middle. So usually when the markets are like this, um, I don't think I can find opportunity no matter how many minutes I monitor chart. So I simply close 
um, the trading view and um, we'll do something else. Maybe I will uh, check emails and reply and also I will uh, comment on Discord communities and come back to the chart in about um, two hours or so. Okay, now I finished working and uh, now it's time for lunch. Today I was thinking what to eat for lunch. Sometimes I prepare myself, sometimes we go out and eat. But today my wife suggested me to, suggested us to go to a Lebanese restaurant, which is our favorite. So we decided to go there and eat some skewers and shawarma and some salads. So now I'm very excited to go there. That was a very nice food. Aloe Beirut is uh, one of my and my wife's best uh, restaurants here in Dubai. I never had shawarma or uh, uh, kebab um, in Japan. It's not so common. I had only a few times, but uh, here it's the best, especially Aloe Beirut. If you have a chance to visit Dubai, you should uh, order some food. Usually uh, we order by delivery and it's, it was always good. But especially in the restaurant, the food is so fresh and especially the meat and also the you know uh, fries and fresh vegetables, everything's so good. So now my wife wants to drive. So um, she will take a drive and then uh, come back to home.
So today the markets are retracing or ranging. So yeah, no trades for myself. Usually when I screen charts and when I don't see any trends, then I will uh, just leave charts and come back a few hours later. Okay, so now I got dressed and uh, will head to Dubai Mall because I will be meeting one of the DTS graduates who happened to be here in Dubai from France. So, very exciting. Okay, so he said he is with his wife this time. So, I'm so excited to see them both today. Looks like today is less people. So this is where we're supposed to meet in front. So let's see if we can make it. Dubai Mall is such a huge mall. And for me, it took like a, a half a month to get used to it. So hopefully, he make it, he can make it today. <laughs> Hello, prof met. Hello, professor. Yes. It's great honor for me to see you in Dubai. Yes. It's great honor for me to be yes. your student, it's professor. Such a, nice, such a nice moment to get to see you. Finally, thank finally you so face much, to face. professor. And thank you very much for the gift. Thank you so thank much, you professor, much. for giving me time. Thank, thank you. you. All right, so maybe it Hello. was. Very Hello, nice. professor. Very nice, nice to meet to you. you. Very nice to meet you. Finally, you face so to face. Thank you for coming for over. <laughs> Thank you for coming over from France Thank this you. time. And uh, nice to meet you. Stay gold. Stay gold. Thank you. <laughs> okay, just came back home, and that was such a nice meeting today for about two hours. And uh, so this is at 4 p.m. now, so I will screen charts. And today, there will be a live stream at 6 p.m. and later there will be another membership live stream. So I have about two hours to do some work. So I screen charts again, but uh, looks like the markets are all retracing. So looks like today is not good timing to trade. Since I captured the day in the life video today, I was going to trade and um, share some progress of my trades, but um, maybe not. So the next timing I will be screen charts is about two hours later. Right now this is um, 4 p.m. So live stream starts at 6 p.m. So right before the live stream starts, I check charts again and see if we can find some opportunities. So I have about one hour until the live stream starts on YouTube, so I'm reading the books of Ichimoku. This one on the left is the Ichimoku original book, which was written by Goichi Hosoda. And this one over here on the right is another Ichimoku book, which was written by Hidenobu Sasaki. And this one is also very famous in Japan. His uh, depth, deep level explanation about Ichimoku is really profound and I learned a lot from his teachings also. This book especially is more focused on the Ichimoku theories and advanced Ichimoku techniques, like uh, where it says uh, here, um, wave theory and price theory, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen and Spans, and time theory, and he actually gives many examples and wave theory examples and price theory examples and how to combine them together and also keifu. Keifu means um, chart patterns, like chart uh, candlestick patterns with his uh, with Ichimoku way. It's also written here with many, many examples and also weekly time frame analysis. So this book is also great. I usually read also at times, with this, I supplement my knowledge of Ichimoku together. So now, this is almost 6 p.m. So this is where I usually do the live stream in YouTube. So now, I'm getting ready to um, set things up. 
So first, um, I launch YouTube and select the stream. And also, um, I launch a software to do the live stream. Not sure if you can see it. It's actually on this screen over here. And um, I will adjust the trading view and uh, getting ready to do a live stream. Okay, everything's well now, so I'm ready. So I have a few minutes, so maybe one, two minutes, I will time myself and uh, meditate and then start the live stream for today. Okay, now it's almost starting, so let's start. Hello, how are you? This is Kay. So today is the 18th of August on Friday. So happy Friday. Great to see you again on my YouTube live stream. So let's start the live and see what's happening among the markets. Okay, now I just finished my public live stream on YouTube. So today I felt like towards the end of the live, I felt my breath was running out and I was having some difficulties to speak anymore. So I kind of finished the live stream in earlier timing because I feel that I'm running out of uh, sugar. So I take a chocolate to prepare for the next live stream. In about uh, 10 minutes, there will be a KTS Academy and GTS Graduate Memberships uh, live stream. So today I will be picking some of the questions they asked and answer them. So that will be a Q&A session today. So I try to stay strong and get ready on the next one. Hello, how are you? Okay, good to see you and happy Friday. So today is the 18th of August. So let's start right now. So um, let me share screen and start recording this meeting so that uh, you can look back the videos on the archive. So just hold on. Okay, now I finished the KTS Academy and GTS Graduate um, Membership live stream. So I covered a lot of questions today, today. So yeah, it was really interesting questions. But after I've done this, I feel like I finished the marathon. And I really have to take a deep breath in and out because I'm really running out of the breath. Even now, I feel it's very difficult to keep, keep speaking uh, because I think I got a lot of pressure in myself uh, to keep on doing this. But I like it and I, it actually makes make myself alive because uh, I really like to share and teach uh, what I know because I think it's built in my genes from my father's uh, professor, uh, you know, career. So uh, right now, this is um, close to 8 p.m. So I will take a, you know, quick dinner. And after that, um, let's see what I'll be doing. I will decide what to do while waiting the light dinner tonight. So I went to the kitchen and um, looking for something to cook. And then well, my wife came and um, looks like she has some ideas to, uh, of what to cook and what to eat. So uh, yeah, today my wife cooks for me for dinner. And this is Friday. So usually I don't want to go out on the Friday night because uh, usually there are lots of people 
and uh, the restaurants are all, all booked usually on this time at 8 p.m. and um, I don't like too noisy outside so I prefer to have dinner myself at home and usually at night I don't eat a lot usually in the morning and afternoon I eat a lot and at night time I eat less so that I feel fresh next morning so uh, yeah let's see uh, what she cooks for me tonight so while waiting for the dinner to come, I think I'll play the violin and enjoy the music. I think it will take maybe 30 minutes or so. So just play the violin and enjoy the music. This is also like a type of meditation for me, meditation. Because uh, when I start to play, I fully focus and I don't think anything, anything else. You know, you started to smell very good from the kitchen, so I'm losing focus now. Okay, here comes today's dinner. Thank you very much. Some rice. And uh, this is dumpling soup with some seaweed on top of it and also green onions and some cut tomatoes with olives and also, yep, I think this is some uh, nuggets and with the ketchup looks very good well, i don't think i can finish the food everything so i think i will share with her and split and enjoy the dinner together okay so after eating the dinner i just took a shower uh, this right now this is at uh, 9 30 pm and uh, the reason why i decided to take a shower tonight is because I felt very dusty and sandy and I could feel the sand and uh, the dust on my skin, on my hair so that's why I was uncomfortable sometimes and a bit itchy so I took a shower um, usually when I take a shower I usually take for 30 to sometimes uh, maybe 45 minutes but how long do you usually take? I prefer longer shower uh, or even uh, sometime I uh, take a bath uh, and uh, maybe spend uh, 30 to 1 hour on the bathtub and uh, just relax myself with the bath salt but uh, I love this time I love taking a shower or a bath at night time uh, because that way I can really relax and uh, really like uh, kind of like uh, you know uh, uh, washing all these, you know, um, daily, um, how do you say, like, uh, daily, um, I would say, like, uh, anxiety or like, uh, daily stress wash out uh, with the shower. So I like it very much. So, and while taking a shower, um, I was all, today I was thinking about my future plans, like uh, what to do in uh, one year or five years, 10 years, and uh, where to go, and what to do with my trading, and how to um, diversify my asset into other um, opportunities. So then um, I just came out from the shower. So right now this is um, almost the end of the Friday and most likely I won't trade because the market's usually very quiet but um, just in case I check all these markets and I was today watching USCCAD it's bullish after Kumo breakout and pound CAD was also bullish and uh, pound AUD also bullish and AUDUSD bearish and ADC's franc bearish so I mainly focus on these um, one two three four five markets but uh, today is very quiet on Friday so no trace so without taking trades sometimes I screen charts like this uh, three to five times per day whenever I can and uh, if I see opportunities, I do take. But again, this is Friday, and uh, today I will 
Instead, I will, I think, uh, run the Forex Tester for the next uh, 30 minutes to one hour maybe and just uh, train myself. So this is 10.30, so, and this is Forex Tester. I have run the Forex Tester for the last about one hour and I took um, 16 trades and the result is a profit factor 8.61 and return percent 8.76 so this is pretty good so usually when the market's quiet or towards the end of the day when where the market becomes quiet or when they are closed over the weekends I run the tester like this and I train myself so far I only took 16 trades but I go up to 100 most likely I won't be able to finish 100 today but uh, towards this weekend, I think I will finish and uh, look back the result. So this is the back testing, but as you can see, you cannot, you cannot see the future candles. So you can technically trade as if you are watching the live market in this way, so that um, this is the best way to train yourself. And uh, once I have enough stats of uh, about um, 200, 200 uh, trays, then I look back my result. And while I'm taking 100 trays, um, I notice something new or some improvements of the way I enter trays, exit trays, or my strategy itself. Then I take memos and um, I apply on my next trays so that my trading keeps improving and um, I, I can move on, keep on going in this way. So I always believe myself that my next trade is the best. My next trade is better than the previous trades is my policy. So this is almost 11 p.m. now and I really feel like driving before I sleep so uh, I think that's what I will be doing from now uh, finally my car uh, returned to my place uh, after maintenance and I haven't drove the car for the last couple of days and uh, so today I really want to drive uh, but even if my car is always here uh, sometimes I feel like driving before I sleep I just like driving. Driving is like one of my hobbies. Uh, so without any destinations, I just go around and then come back. So I think that's what I'll be doing before I go to bed tonight. Okay, now I came back home and this is around um, 0 a.m. now. I drove for about 30 minutes around downtown area and enjoyed the driving and came back. So before I go to bed, usually I do one thing, which is the shutdown ritual. Shutdown ritual. And what that means is that um, I write what to do tomorrow because today I had few things that I, ha I haven't been able to done yet or um, I have I had things I have I want to do tomorrow so but bef when I when I don't write these things before I go to bed then I may have too much pressure on, on my mind the things I haven't done it yet today and I may regret I may have some 
st stress pressure still and I may not sleep sleep well so I make sure that before I go to bed I write the things I do tomorrow so that I sleep in peace so quickly about shutdown ritual is uh, there's a website for this but uh, there are many ways one of the ways to clean uh, your physical workspaces which was uh, done by Princeton University in 2011 as a research study and review your two dance to reward yourself or uh, confront the things you have been putting off and but I found the most effective is this one write out tomorrow's to-do list uh, by doing this I feel that I've done with today and whatever whatever I haven't been able to do today I will do it tomorrow and that's like my promise myself so I feel less stress when I go to bed uh, without thinking too much about what I haven't not be able to done today so uh, yeah so today I wrote uh, these things so as high priority uh, I will take I test and renew driver license tomorrow and create shorts for next week shorts on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook for next week I usually upload shorts so I will be creating those tomorrow and edit discord channels and add new videos so that's also something I am implementing the community like a, how do you say like forum forum uh, channels in discord so I will be creating those forums and add some new videos and reorganize discord channel and that's what I will be doing on my communities in terms of the mid uh, priority, it's a uh, first read books. I will be reading Toyota Way book chapter five and Ichimoku original book volume three chapter four and write one chapter for risk management book. Now I'm writing the risk management book, which will be also available in KTS Academy and GTS graduates. But uh, I will be finishing one of the chapters tomorrow and call Amazon for a refund oh yeah this one I bought a couple of uh, uh, microphones uh, and I found one of them to be very nice so I keep that this one and uh, I'm actually returned the other one but I haven't got the refund yet so I have to call Amazon contact Amazon tomorrow about the refund and as a low priority, it's a contact car status. Yeah, this one, I'm thinking to change my car, so um, I will contact, but this is not urgent. It's, uh, even if I don't do tomorrow, it's fine. Not urgent. And arrange room making service. I have some guests coming two weeks after, so I will arrange room making up. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is not urgent. I have two weeks still to do so yeah uh, like this I write to do tomorrow and I keep this uh, notepad like this and simply um, sleep the PC and when I wake up tomorrow I read these uh, points again and I will kickstart the day tomorrow Okay, now I'm about to sleep. Before I go to bed, I will make sure to meditate for five minutes. Just close my eyes for five minutes without any music, without any smell, uh, without uh, any distractions. I simply sit down in a quiet room and close my eyes for five minutes. And then calm myself down and kind of detox what I was doing today, reset what I was doing, what I was thinking today, then end my day. So that was like a day in the life myself. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. So uh, yeah, and after I done it today, I really liked it somehow. Every steps, almost every steps today, I explained 
what I was doing and what I will be doing and why I was doing. So um, it helped me also to reorganize what I was thinking doing per day. So I may take another video on other day in the future because it may be a totally different schedule. But uh, when I do, I will take a video and upload here also and share that with you. So I hope you enjoy the future day in the life videos too. But uh, yeah, for now, I think I will sleep. So you two have a great day, great night, and see you on the next one. So again, thank you very much for watching. Until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you. I hope you become a non-losing trader. In Ichimoku community, I share the original knowledge of Ichimoku. In KTS Academy, I share my original strategy including risk and psychology management. In GTS, I mentor your trades and follow up one-on-one -on -one closely for the three months. Take a survey to find out which course suits you the best. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press like button and please subscribe. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you very much.